Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Hicksville High School. It's a, a blustery Saturday afternoon, just about half past five, and we are here for prom 2021. It's a masquerade night here at Hicksville High School. I want to thank you so very much for joining us here on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook Live and uh, on our Facebook page. And we are planning on being with you for probably about an uh, hour and a half or so. I'll uh, fill you in on just what the situation is and what we're going to be doing uh, for this uh, live stream. And uh, hopefully you're not getting too much uh, wind noise again as it's a very blustery afternoon. We're so glad to have you here. And uh, since we are out of doors right now and I am fully vaccinated, now that we've gotten things started, I'm going to uh, be removing my mask here so I can talk a little more concisely. And right now we are, of course, located uh, on out, outdoors uh, outside of the event entrance, which is going to be the focal point for arrival when the couples start coming here for tonight's uh, prom ceremony. And as we mentioned, the theme for the 2021 prom is masquerade. Now, the reason why we're here and we're doing the live stream is because we are still operating under a lot of the COVID rules and restrictions. And because of that, uh, they were asked to uh, limit the uh, number of people who actually come out to the school on prom Saturday. In years past, as many of you are, are well aware, the school has always opened up to the general public for about an hour before the kids start arriving for prom. And that is to allow the community members, they can come in, they can walk down and uh, look at all of the prom decorations and see all, the, all of the setup. Not able to do that this year. They are limiting the people who are gonna be able to come out before prom to look at the uh, decorations and so forth to just immediate family members. And likewise, there's usually a really, really big crowd here for the uh, prom arrival of the couples and so forth. But it's again, as you can see, uh, they have limited that as well, so there will not be as many people here. And that's why we are doing the live stream, because since so many people are not able to come out to be here in person, we're going to sort of be your eyes and ears for you. So in just a little bit, uh, we're going to be heading indoors, and uh, we, will, uh, we will show you all of the uh, decorations and all of the setup for tonight's uh, prom activities. Then we will be coming back out here outside the main event entrance and uh, we'll be uh, putting the iPad Pro into the uh, tripod and uh, we will then bring you live stream coverage of the couple's arrival at prom. And then we're hoping uh, when uh, all everybody gets here and they get themselves seated, we're gonna try to pop down real fast and uh, maybe do a quick look-see and give you a glimpse of all of the uh, kids sitting at their tables getting ready to to eat we're not going to be sticking around for the dinner and for the dancing or anything along that so nobody has to worry about being live streamed while you're enjoying the prom activities during prom uh, we'll be wrapping up probably uh, I imagine a little after seven o'clock with our live stream but until then again we want to thank you so very much for uh, joining us here on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page I am station manager Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television operating the iPad Pro camera Chris Warner is helping me out to this afternoon and again, we're really glad to have you uh, with us. So with that, check the uh, time here. We're hoping that we can just do this as one continuous live stream and uh, be able to uh, not have to uh, end this live stream and then resume when uh, the kids start arriving. We still may have to do that, though, uh, depending. Uh, sometimes they're here starting right at 6 o'clock. Sometimes it takes a little bit. So depending on the time, we may be ending this live stream and then resuming with a second one. But I do want to make sure everybody understands that we will be live streaming the arrival and everything. So if we do end the live stream, we'll try to give you some kind of a time check and keep your eye on our Facebook page because we will be back if that does occur. But again, we're kind of hoping that we'll be able to uh, just go seamlessly from one right into the other. So again, it's a, it's a really, it's not a bad day. It's a kind of a cool breeze, but it is very blustery out here. And uh, things are going to be a little bit different too. Uh, normally they have the uh, podium set up and they announce the uh, arrival of the couples, but they're not gonna do that this year. Uh, they're going to have a wireless microphone like I'm using right now. And uh, Mr. Slattery, the high school principal, will be moving about and making the announcement. They still will be announcing the couples as they arrive. And uh, we figured out a way to be able to uh, get that audio onto our live stream. And of course, we will have all of the video for you as well. So looking forward to a uh, fun afternoon it is prom 2021 you are watching the hicksville community television facebook 
page and our live stream of the coverage as people are slowly but surely starting to trickle in. And since that's the case, uh, why don't we uh, follow along with me and I'm going to spin around and we'll start heading towards the uh, event entrance and then we'll go inside and see what we can see as far as the prom decorations are concerned. So come along, let's go on into the high school. So we'll head on down Main Street, we'll head to the commons area first. You can see sort of behind me through the windows that they have uh, put some uh, tables and benches into the courtyard. And of course right now the lights are off and already starting to get the atmosphere. They were here working uh, last evening getting the decorations set, the tables and the table place settings. So we'll head towards the commons area which will be the main locale for tonight's prom. So we'll come around the corner. As you can see, they've hung a number of globe lights up over the dining area. And you'll also notice that the dining area is situated somewhat differently than it has been in the years past. Uh, in years past, of course, they would have the dance floor set up and uh, that would be sort of right in front of the main stage. But obviously that is not the case this year, again, because of the COVID restrictions and the safety protocols, they've had to uh, re, uh, resituate the tables to make sure that there's a proper amount of distance for the couples and for the kids sitting at each table to be able to dine safely. But if we come over here, you can see that the table settings, very nicely done. It's a masquerade theme, so again, there's going to be a lot of the navy blue and the white and the gold. Uh, as you can see, they've uh, decorated the, uh, the photographs with uh, some gauzy curtains to give it a nice effect. And we'll walk down this way, go past, uh, again, some more of the uh, tables, the lovely table settings that they have put together. And as you can see behind me, there are still some people working with some last minute bells and flourishes, putting up some uh, twinkle lights. Again, to try to make it as, as pretty and as magical as possible. As we'll come back to this area in front of the gymnasium, which of course is being closed off or at least I think it is. Hang on a second, let me take a peek. Yeah, I don't see anything back there yet, so. <laughs> that's not where the uh, dancing is going to be taking place, if that's what you're wondering. So anyway, as you can see, more decorations being set, the large masquerade mask. Hard-working gals making sure all the lights light like they're supposed to. And then we can... And we'll move around here. And this, of course, looks to be the appetizer table with uh, several of the little plates, the, the crackers, the cheese slices, the meat, the fresh fruit. Part of the uh, meal that they have set up for the kids. Of course, they're busy working in the kitchen doing the meal prep. Not sure what is on the menu. I haven't seen that, but based on years past, it's going to be quite a good dinner for the youngsters. So we'll move down again. There's more stations that have been set up. As you can see, this is the beverage station. You can take a quick glimpse back into the uh, working hard in the in the kitchen seeing the camera pointing their way and turning their back and running away as quickly as they can <laughs> and then we'll come down here this is going to be I believe the dessert area so it looks like an ice cream machine already running 
So it looks like they'll have a Sunday bar because like I said, they've already got the ice cream machine going and there's the various toppings and sauces. So good food for the youngsters here tonight. And again, a nice atmosphere as we'll uh, head down here towards the front of the stage. See some more of the uh, twinkle light decorations that have been set up. And again, very lovely decorations on the tables. Little lights, they don't have the little uh, flicker candles turned on just yet, but it will look uh, very lovely. They'll dim the lights a little bit. We'll have to bring in our uh, We'll have to bring in our handheld light bar if we do come walking through here a little bit later because otherwise you won't be able to see too much of anything. I hope it's not too dim to be able to see me right now. So, but uh, yeah, when they, when they really start to get atmospheric and get, get the mood going, it might be a little dimmer. We'll move down here now back towards the main hallway. And you can see some more decorations that have been put up here in front of the display case. A lot of masks being featured to go along with the masquerade theme. And then we'll head down this way. I'm not sure if the doors are open or not, but we will, we will see as uh, we come down towards what is the uh, auxiliary or the elementary junior high gym. As you can see, they have a backdrop set up here and I think that this might be a, a photo spot and as you can see they've got the windows taped up here I'm not sure if these are open or not no so I'll leave Christopher here and I'll, I'm gonna pop down and see if I can get in on the other doors and move my way around not sure whether these doors will be locked or unlocked either. Nope, I'm afraid they are all locked. I thought, I thought they would have unlocked a pair for our walkthrough. So you're going to have to picture this in your mind's eye. But uh, this is going to be where the dancing is taking place. So when these doors open, uh, the kids will enter here. They have a archway tunnel that's uh, covered with twinkle lights. So they'll walk through this sort of a short lighted tunnel and then they'll be into the main gymnasium. They have more decorations with balloons and so forth and that's where they'll be playing the, the music and doing, doing the dancing. So this will be the dance area. Wish we could show it to you, but again, the doors are locked so we're not able to get inside. And again, uh, this year, uh, they haven't done any real major decorating out in the courtyard as they have done in years past because again uh, this is going to be kind of a scaled back version of prom for 2021. The main goal of course for the uh, school was that uh, first off they wanted to be able to have a prom for the kids and fortunately as uh, the school year progressed and with the uh, the vaccines arriving and and so forth uh, the restrictions were loosened enough and permission was given so that uh, the prom could be held but it still had to be held under the covid protocols and guidelines whatever was in effect at the time so Right now, they can have prom, but again, as we mentioned, they're still limited as to the number of people who can actually be here. Uh, I think they've also got some limitations on the students, I think, uh, and, I, and I may not be correct in this, but it seems to me that, I, that uh, one of the things is that uh, usually they would allow uh, people that have graduated in the last year or so to come in and, you know, escort someone to the prom. I'm not sure if they're allowing that this year and I think that they're also paying a lot more attention to whether or not kids from other school districts are coming to the prom or not. So uh, maybe a little uh, a fewer, little less 
participation from the kids. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that all the Hicksville kids who are able to can come out and enjoy the prom. But again, uh, there are some restrictions. As we've seen, they've had to uh, revamp the way that they set up the tables and so forth, and they don't have the dance floor set up. But again, it's all for the safety of the kids, and that is the primary function. So if you are going to be one of the people who come out a little bit later to uh, drop off youngsters, or again, if you, have, if you have kids, if you make your way out here, please remember that the COVID protocols are still in place, and they are still asking you to social distance, even though you're outside, and if you can, wear the mask, and, and so forth. So uh, again, be aware that uh, they're going to try to do everything to discourage a lot of people crowding in and uh, getting very close together outside when they start doing the prom arrival, which is again why we are here doing these live streams, because that way you can still see all of the couples, you can still see all the nice dresses, the fancy tuxes, and you can do so by watching us right here on Facebook, and that hopefully will help cut down on the number of people who want to come out here, because we all are very much aware how much everybody loves to come out here for prom and to see these kids all gussied up and ready for a big night. And so, so that's why we're here. We're doing our part too, to uh, make sure that as many people as possible are able to sort of be here without actually being here. So with that, let's uh, head back out towards the main event entrance once again. So head out back towards the event entrance and back out into the blustery wind. Looks like the sun is coming out a little bit, which is kind of nice. We were all kind of hoping that the winds might die down a little bit by 6 o'clock, but it looks like that is not going to be the case. So we will head out back into the out of doors. And if we start getting uh, wind sound blowing across the microphone, I apologize in advance. And again, we hope you enjoyed the walkthrough and a, sort of a preview look at the prom decorations and the setup inside the school. Again, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television. Glad to have you here with us for the live stream. Chris Warner working the camera. And as you can see, there's uh, been a few more people have shown up since we headed into the school to do our walkthrough and look at the decorations. As again, the prom arrivals should be beginning at about six o'clock or so this evening. And we'll sort of uh, stand back for a little bit, but at some point we will move into our broadcast position. We already have our tripod set up, and uh, we'll quickly uh, place the iPad into the tripod holder. And then I will move uh, the microphone down so that we can pick up the audio from high school principal Jeff Slattery. And we'll get ready for the next portion of the live stream to get underway. Now, because we are going to be moving the microphone down to uh, where it can pick up Mr. Slattery's audio, I'm not going to be able to be talking. So during the live stream of the arrival, there may be some stretches where not a lot is going on and you get a good picture of the parking lot, <laughs> but there's not much we can do about that. We can edit that in post-production, but that'll be the best that we can do for the live stream here today. But we want to keep the live stream going because the last thing we want is to miss one of the couples when they arrive. So we don't want to that, have that happen. So we'll tell you in advance and uh, we'll apologize. We're going to hopefully not have too many long gaps without much going on, but there probably will be some. So just bear with us when that happens. And again, once the last of the couples get here, we'll try to uh, head back inside and give you a quick look, see of everybody sitting at their tables, getting ready for a wonderful night. And then we will, then we'll get out of the way. So uh, we do not uh, bother anybody and we're not live streaming the actual prom. You gotta follow and abide by, you know, the cancellations last year, whether it's spring sports, prom, changing commitment. Up till about a month ago, you know, we were talking about having prom, but we were still waiting for guidelines. So we're just happy we can have prom as much fun as possible um, and uh, I guess as, as we're going through this process today there are a few rules and I'm talking to everyone that's here not the kids yet but um, all I ask is you don't stand in the mulch number one if you're a school employee or not Mr. Murphy you still can't stand in the mulch thank you <laughs> um, uh, number two you know of course be courteous to people around you we appreciate that I'm going to give you a brief run through of how this is going to work the, uh, the kids are going to come up in their cars uh, 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Welly is going to uh, take a picture of the kid in the car. The kids will come here. They'll hand me the card. They'll have their, their names on it. I'll announce them. They'll come walking right through here. They'll walk to the uh, the first camera here, which is the live stream for uh, Facebook, correct, for Hicks TV. Thank you, Mr. Murphy. They will then cut across over to the right, over to uh, Mr. Stephen Howard. The pool is calmer back there. They're going to get a picture in front of that uh, the tree and the brick siding. And then they're going to walk inside. And um, we've had to make a few changes inside, too. And again, it's because originally the kids were going to walk through the courtyard. There's going to be pictures in there, some things going on in there. But with the wind, I know these ladies are going to want to spend as little time as possible out here in the wind with paying all that money to get their hair done. So uh, again, um, anyone who uh, has a car out here, by the way, because I've had a few gentlemen approach me that love their vehicles. Um, as your vehicle approaches, just come up here and let the, uh, the, the guys that are parking cars know, hey, this is my car, and uh, they'll let you take your car and leave. All right, now Travis, I know what you drive, so don't try to take any cars, all right? I see a smile over here thinking about it already. Is it time? Three minutes. Two minutes. I'm sorry, my wife's one of the advisors, and she said, do not let them in until six, and I'm not, I'm not making her mad, so I'm like, I'm waiting until six o'clock. Okay. Hey, Todd. Todd, are you about ready? Who's car number one? So the kids are going to step out. He wants to take a picture of them in front of the car. I go around, let him walk out. Tell that kid. Tell Noah if they go out there and let your date out. We'll instruct them to be gentlemen. Nothing ever goes smooth. Alright, perfect. Thank you. Please welcome Noah Schaefer, escorting Emily Harmon. Men. Come here for a second. You need to hold on to these, okay? I'm going to give you everything along your pocket. Come here. Come around, let the date out. Give you a picture. Welcome, Chloe Gerhardt, escorted by Colin Dury.
I might be in trouble. Thank you, sir. Looking sharp. Thank you. Please welcome Christian Lane. I have a feeling he's getting dropped off. Welcome, Matthew Henderson, escorting Kirsten Walters. Have a good day. You too. Please welcome Audrey Johnson Ball, escorted by Roman Graber. White, just listen to her. See that? I gave some advice. There you go, buddy. All right, thank you. Please welcome Hunter White, escorting Sophia Mock. Sure that door doesn't get her, all right? Destiny Wells, escorted by Caleb Wagner. Just 
Please welcome Chase Gasweiler, escorting Phoenix Yoakum. Welcome, Jaron Pogue, escorting Destiny Henderson. Welcome Ezra Rogers, escorting Isabella Dagger. Let her out. We're gonna get a picture of you guys real quick. Please welcome Caitlin Hewitt, escorted by Deacon Crates. Introducing patient Salisbury escorted by Caleb Begley. I'll take that card from you for your picture. There you go, get a picture real quick. Skyler Kerr, escorted by Aiden Champion.
Here, I'll take your card, buddy. Carson Long, escorting Casey Betts. Quick picture, I'll take the car, thank you. Chase Rowling, escorting Madeline Herman. Tyler Jaso, S40 Libby Bob. Welcome Owen Grimes and Paige Straley. One second. Real quick. Real quick. Can I move a little faster? Please welcome Maxwell Ish, escort escorting Matea Winninger.
Please welcome Aiden Moore, escorting Lena Bassett. Welcome, Justin Schaefer, escorting Rachel Winker. Thornburg, escorting Megan O'Donnell. All right, sir, you get a picture real quick. All right. Please welcome James Greer. All right, go ahead, Travis. All right, we're going to get a picture of you guys in front of the truck, and then I'll introduce your name. All right, perfect. Real quick, here we go. Welcome, Jordan Crosser, escorted by Connor Lauer. I know who you are, but still, might as well stay. Uh, come on, ladies, this way. Please welcome Elizabeth Liddell and Ivy Donovan. Awesome. Hello, ladies. You have your card? Okay. And right here, we get a picture. Jay, come on around, we'll get a picture of you. Yeah, both cars. Okay. All right, thank you. Right uh, over here, real quick. That's right. Now introducing Taylor Richter and Jaden Kush. Come on around, okay? Nope. Don't lock your doors. Alright. Get a picture of you guys real quick. How's my hair look? Yeah. Alright, thanks. Yours looks good too. Now 
introducing Abby Lowey and Julia Garza. escorted by Zach Seach. Got it? There you go. Mr. Patrick, we're going to get a picture in front of the car real quick before you drive away. Thank you. There you go. And do you have a car back here, young lady? Alejandro, right? All right. Please welcome Lily Sally Morales and Hunter Mercer. Introducing Jaden Patrick, escorted by Alejandro Davis. Welcome, Vanessa Martin, escorted by Jake Rickman. Welcome, Leah Thomas and Catherine Bland. Welcome, Shelby Souls, escorted by Michael Ward. Too long to smile. 
Wow, pretty. Please welcome Dean Greitman, escorting Madeline Wiley. Oh, he's driving a stick. <laughs> I thought somebody was just revving it, you know, trying to get going. Mike, you got a card? Here you go. Let her out, we'll get a picture real quick. We have to hold that. Welcome Taylor Metz, escorted by Michael Valena. Ready? Awesome. We're going to get a picture yeah. in front of the car before you go, okay? Okay. I'll be right back. She coming out? You got it? Introducing Cheyenne Shaw and Bree Wolf. Welcome, Emily Taylor, escorted by Kyla Baird. Here, I'll take the white card. Thank you, sir. I'll get a picture of you real quick right here. Welcome, Isaiah Curl. You're doing great, kid. You're doing great. Okay, I'll take the card. Let her out of the vehicle. We'll take a quick picture, okay? Welcome, Ava Leasty, escorted by Michael Wu.
introducing Isaac Ridgway, escorting Anna Frazier. escorted by Travis Stolper. I'll get you ladies out. Be patient. Here we go. Why don't you step out first and I'll get the next door. We'll get their picture real quick with you guys. Okay. Okay. Real quick picture, we'll get you inside. Welcome, Abigail Johnson and Jade Sigmund. Young man, I'll take that. Good. We'll get a picture of you guys in front of the truck, okay? Introducing Taylor Early, escorted by Jackson Bergman.
three hit streaks in a row, thanks. Introducing Lindsey Bergman, escorted by Josh Myers. Welcome, Kennedy Phillips, escorted by Cole Woodman. Introducing Xavier Brown, escorting Amy Thomas Van Kirk. Introducing Chloe Hairston, escorted by Jace Redden. Welcome, Abby Miller, escorted by Josh Maxey. You guys are joining us? Okay. 
grip. You got everything? Yeah. Real quick, you got your card? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna get a picture real quick. Now introducing Victoria Soka and Reed Keeley. Kelsey Monroe, escorted by Landon Turnbull. Introducing Adeline Strubing, escorted by Eli Moore. Emma Schumann, escorted by Hunter Gershut. Sydney Bland, escorted by Richard Bauer. Welcome, Elizabeth Delagrange, escorted by Calvin Leasty.
introducing Maria Vasquez and Adriana, or excuse me, Adriana Tobar. Devin, it's Huffine, right? Yep. Now introducing Macy Eicher, escorted by Devin Huffine. Welcome, Annie Miller, escorted by Brant Busser. Introducing Cadence Barnes, escorted by Isaac Wilhelm. Introducing Mallory Sarchet, escorted by Cooper Cayley. Introducing Mary Grace Stevenauer, escorted by Eric Iden. Please welcome Elizabeth Frost, 
Escorted by Colgan Dorsey. How'd I do? Solid, all right. Please welcome Hayden McAlexander, escorted by Mason Slattery. Introducing Madeline Fredericks, escorted by Cole Camaso. Now introducing Veronica Vasquez, escorted by Colton Schooley. Welcome, Summer Schooling, escorted by Ashton Barnhouse. Welcome, Boston Hoopman, escorting Kenzie Schrader. Thank you for coming out tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, thank you to the dads for doing all the parking. And, of course, uh, thank you to Chloe Metz for being my little helper up here. Everybody have a great night. Drive safe. Get a hold of the microphone. And... 
Well, again, uh, give our compliments to the organizers. I was, I was telling you before we uh, started the arrival that we might have some gaps in our coverage and some uh, slow spots, but that was not the case this year. Very well organized and moving right along, almost like assembly line precision. So hopefully you enjoyed that and seeing all of the uh, handsome young men and the lovely young women that are here for prom this evening. And uh, again, my hat's off to uh, the Hicksville School and the, uh, the prom organizing committee for, again, having it very, very well organized. And we're uh, not quite done with our live stream coverage yet. We're going to give everybody just a, a minute or so here, but uh, I'll have to grab, uh, grab some light. There we go. And we'll uh, head inside and uh, give you a quick glimpse of the evening in progress in the Commons. And we'll wrap up our live stream coverage for this afternoon. So follow along. We're going to go back inside one more time. This is always kind of fun, too, because we'll have people that will try to hide from the camera. All right, we'll, we'll follow along. I don't want to get in anybody's way here. Make sure I got the door open for Christopher. Here we go. And once again, we'll be back inside the school. We'll head down towards the commons area. And who knows, they might even have the uh, auxiliary gymnasium opened up. We can take a quick look at that belatedly. As again, it is prom 2021, as we've mentioned earlier. The theme for this year's prom, if you have joined us late, is masquerade. And they have uh, the commons area set up for their dinner and decorated very beautifully. And it'll be the start of a fun night. Uh, again, the kids will have dinner. There'll be some dancing here. I think they have some after prom activities that have been planned. So we'll come on down. And take a quick look, and again, kind of on the dim side. So what we'll do, and this is always something very popular. There we go. Is we get the extra light here. So I'll just sort of. Uh, Follow along, go and I'll let uh, Christopher follow me along. We're going to go sort of down the middle here so we can make us a few passes, get a little extra light on the subject. Hello, ladies. Kind of odd walking around with the microphone and the light bar, but. As you can see, everybody's sitting down and already enjoying themselves. As we do, just a, again, just a quick walkthrough. We don't want to. Uh... We'll spin around and we'll head up on the other side here. Sort of give you an idea of how things are going here. Hello, everyone. Make sure everybody, yeah. we're on the live stream, so don't say any dirty words or anything. All right. Make our way through. <laughs> As 
as we make our way through. And everybody is here and seated. And of course, so, uh, as you can see down at the far end, taking some photographs. We'll kill the light here. Oh, last, remember, last time we did this, Christopher, when we turned the light off, people clapped. <laughs> they didn't want the light shining in their faces. But again, prom is underway, and it looks like it's going to be a wonderful night for everybody who is here. And so with that, we're here in the Commons. And again, we hope you enjoyed our live stream coverage here on the Hicksville Community Television Facebook page. We want to thank all of you for uh, tuning in and uh, joining us. And again, I uh, hope you enjoyed the coverage. Uh, not able to have as many people come out in person for this year's prom. So we're more than happy to be able to do the live stream. So many of you would be able to be here without actually being here. So again, we hope you enjoyed the coverage. We hope that all of the people here have a fun prom and a safe and happy night. And with that, we're going to wrap things up for the live stream. You've been watching live coverage from the 2021 Hicksville High School prom. For Chris Warner, running the iPad Pro camera, I'm Bill Murphy with Hicksville Community Television, wishing you all a very good Saturday night.